Hey, my name is Mike, and I've been playing World of Warcraft for almost 10 years, and in that time I've accumulated a little bit of knowledge about the game, so I'd like to share some of that with you. In this video, I'll be talking about the social aspect of WoW and reputations. Being an MMORPG, the social aspect of the game is very important. There's numerous ways to communicate with players in the world. By default, Slash 1 is general chat. Using this to chat will talk to anyone in the same zone as you. Slash 2 is trade chat and only works in major cities. You can talk to everyone in any major city this way. This is generally used for server-wide communication, and a great way to buy or sell as well. Slash 3 is local defense. This will alert you when the area you're in is under attack. This is to notify anyone who wants to defend that area. You can leave any or all of these chats at any time by typing slash leave 1, 2, or 3. To join back in, you just do slash join and the channel name. Slash say talks to anyone with an earshot of you. Slash yell talks to anyone in the general vicinity of you. Slash whisper followed by someone's name will whisper a message to that player in a private chat that only you two can see. Slash reply will reply to the last whisper you received. Slash party talks to everyone in your party. Slash instance will talk to anyone in your instance group, raid, or battleground. Slash guild talks to anyone in your guild. You can shorten down all the chat options by just using the first letter of the word. For example, instead of slash party, you can just do slash p, or slash w instead of slash whisper. If you want to block someone from having communication with you, you can just right click their name in chat and hit ignore. If you want to undo that, you can just open your social tab and go to the ignore tab and remove them from there. Guilds are like a clan. There's numerous different ways to find a guild for you, including trade chat and the guild finder option. Guilds are a great way to socialize with other players and play with others around your level. Guilds also offer perks such as mounts, pets, heirlooms, and cosmetic items. They also provide mount speed increases, hearthstone cooldown reductions, and a resurrection for everyone and more. If you ever want to leave that guild, you just write slash G quit. There are a lot of different kinds of guilds in WoW. Some focus on raiding and some focus on PvP, and some are more of a casual friendly experience. Reputations are another big part of World of Warcraft. As you unlock NPC from new sub-factions, you will unlock the reputation. Gaining reputation is kind of like gaining experience. It is gained in numerous different ways depending on how the faction is designed. Some of the ways you'll find yourself gaining reputations are killing enemies of the faction, doing quests for them, or handing in certain items. As your reputation increases, you may unlock new items to buy from the quartermaster such as gear, pets, mounts, and toys. Currently, most reputations will be started at neutral. From there, they can increase to friendly, honored, revered, and finally exalted. Your reputation can also decrease with certain sub-factions. You may lose reputation by killing members of that faction or helping the opposite faction if there is one. Losing reputation goes to unfriendly, hostile, and then hated. Being hostile or hated will cause members of that sub-faction to attack you on sight. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. You can navigate through all the guides using this screen. You can also follow me on social media if you're interested. Thanks again for watching and have a great day!